Greeting fellow home educators. My name is Joan L. Caldwell. My husband and I were pioneers in the homeschooling movement in Arkansas. Back in 1985, we lobbied for legislation that would allow parents to be able to make the choice to educate their children at home. All three of my children are products of homeschooling for many years. I think that those of us who have observed homeschooling, uh, many of my very close friends, including my college roommate and others, have homeschooled their children and have found it to be such a wonderful experience. And I think uh, we all recognize the value. I've come to realize that the government has intervened and interfered way too much. And that we needed to go back to the idea that if it's working well, leave it alone and let it breathe. One of the proudest days of my life was when Mike Huckabee signed the new Arkansas homeschool law into effect. And I want to tell you that before that law was passed, homeschooling in Arkansas was pretty difficult. In fact, if you fell eight months below grade level on the state mandated test, then you could actually lose your right to homeschool. In addition, under the old law, if you were trying to homeschool a, a child with special needs, that was strictly prohibited. But when Mike Huckabee became governor, one of the first things that he did was go to the Arkansas legislature with the help of friendly legislators and we got the homeschool law changed here in Arkansas so that it's more fair for homeschool families. And so that was a big day of celebration. He invited all the homeschoolers to come to the state capitol. We all gathered around him there in the governor's conference room and we watched him sign into effect one of the best homeschool laws in the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, House Bill 1157 has become law in Arkansas. Perhaps many were surprised in 1997 when I was Governor Mike Huckabee's first appointee to the Arkansas State Board of Education. But those who knew Mike Huckabee knew how sensible it was to have someone on the board who could represent the over 13,000 homeschoolers in our state. Uh, Any time there was a threat to homeschooling here in the state of Arkansas, Mike Huckabee always stood up for the homeschool families. In fact, I can recall numerous times when legislators who were unfriendly toward homeschooling would start talking about introducing a bill to regulate homeschooling or make it more difficult on the homeschoolers. And Mike Huckabee would just very politely say, don't go there. Don't mess with the homeschool families. They're doing a good job. If it ain't broke, don't fix it and just leave well enough alone. I to you, many of these representatives and senators have really worked so hard on your behalf, as has Gene Wilhoyt, Brenda Matthews from the Department of Education. And we're happy to report to you today because of their efforts and their ability to get this legislation passed that brings a whole new era in homeschooling. We're happy to report to you that checks will be processed. All of you who have registered for the April test uh, will be getting a refund of that fee and there never will again be a fee for the testing. <laughs> Which signals in a very substantive way that from this day forward in Arkansas, homeschooling is being treated as a viable and a valuable education alternative in our state. I know that many of you are just getting to know Mike Huckabee for the first time. My husband and I have had the privilege of knowing him since college. In fact, we were actually members of the first church where he served as pastor while going to college. Mike Huckabee is a man of impeccable character and unwavering faith. Mike and Janet Huckabee are committed to the family. They firmly believe that raising children is the right responsibility and privilege of parents and not the government. The thing that I believe he brought to this debate is the fact he brought a change of philosophy and that is he understands full well that children don't belong to the state of Arkansas or any other government. Children belong to parents and he recognized the fact that it was the parents responsibility to direct the education and upbringing of their own children. 
Mike Huckabee stood up for the children of Arkansas in his commitment to the parents who homeschool. I hope you will stand up for him as his desire is to do that for parents all over our nation. I'm calling upon our fellow homeschoolers in Iowa to do two things. Number one, please contribute to his campaign. You may mail a check to his campaign headquarters, 405 6th Avenue, Des Moines, 50306, and please participate in the straw poll on August 11th in Ames and bring a friend. You may receive complimentary tickets from Huckabee headquarters. As people begin to evaluate candidates and look at who's running for, for office, whether it be in Arkansas or Iowa or anywhere else, I think the homeschool community, really it's incumbent on every homeschool family to look at every candidate and evaluate where those candidates stand on the issues that really matter to them. And then once they've made that choice about who really is going to stand up for their rights, then they need to go out and exercise their right to vote and participate in the process. And that's one thing that I find very gratifying about homeschool families around this state and around the nation is that they are absolutely passionate about what they do and what they believe. And if I have to go fight a political fight, I always want the homeschool families on my side. I just want to say that I've known this man for over 33 years. He is a man of faith, a true conservative, and someone who will support you in everything you want to do to provide the best for your children.